Alright, I would do folks your boom walks on to your five numbers after the name. Games beat in action over here, man. 2024 edition. And I'm not gonna lie, these are all still from 2023. I have such a backlog of games that I managed to be in that took so much time off the channel over here. I'm still kind of getting the rhythm of things. Currently, if I have to tell you what I'm playing, I'm playing Sea of Stars currently, and I'm going to start Last of Us 2 again. That's where we're currently at. I'll give you a gauge for when those videos come out to where we're at over here. Either way, though, Kirby's Dream Land 2 over here on the Game Boy. I mean, what can I say? It's on the Switch now, so I was able to play it on that. It's pretty damn good, man. I mean, when you kind of look at this and say, hey, this is on the Game Boy, like, for this to be a Game Boy kind of game and be this good, it's pretty impressive. I, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, man. I... It's interesting, Kirby, until this recent game, which, ah, name escapes me right now, oh lord. But anyway, until Forgotten Land, Kirby and Forgotten Land or something like that. Until that game, I'd been pretty much out on Kirby games. Like, uh, uh, Crystal Shards was good, but not great. And, you know, Superstar Saga was kind of the, the culmination of, like, this is the ultimate Kirby experience. Forgotten Land kind of introduces something different. But when you go back and play some of these traditional kind of Game Boy games, you really get the vibe for what Kirby was and is at his best. And it's still, like, a really fun game to play. And it's still kind of crazy that it runs on a Game Boy. 